सो वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स टू वन मोर सीरीज ऑफ यू बहादुर न्यूमेरिकल केमिस्ट्री राइट दिस पर्टिकुलर बुक एज आई सेड इट वी यूजफुल फॉर ऑल योर कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स फाइन सो फॉर योर जेई सीरीज फॉर योर जेई एग्जाम्स फॉर योर नीट एग्जाम फॉर योर सी बी एस ई एग्जाम सो ऑल डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एग्जाम्स ऑल्सो सो प्लीज ट्राई टू गेट द कॉन्सेप्ट सो वंस यू गेट द कॉन्सेप्ट इज ईजी टू फॉर यू टू डू दे विल नॉट आस्क मोर देन दिस राइट सो वट इज दिस वट दे गिव अस टू डे वट आर वी गोइंग टू सॉल्व वट इज अ वेव लेंथ ऑफ लाइट एमिटेड when the electron <coughs> in a hydrogen atom undergoes transition from an energy level with n is equal to 4 to an energy level n is equal to 2 right so we have studied this in uh, the bohr's uh, hydrogen atom isn't it what is the formula delta e is equal to e4 minus e2 because the set from n n is equal to 2 to n is equal to n is equal to 4 to n is equal to 2 Fine. So this is equal to minus thirteen point six by four square. This is the formula which we have minus of minus thirteen point six by two square. Right? Why? Why did I write this? What is the formula here? Because e n is equal to e by n square. This is the formula which we have according to that I've written. Now let us solve this. Delta e is equal to so minus into minus plus, and this becomes plus thirteen point six into three. When I solve this LCM, I get sixteen electron volt. Fine. So now, this what can I write? Therefore, I can write this as the same thing. I can write it as. Uh, 12 1 2 3 okay they have given undergone transition okay so how much this comes to 1 2 3 7 5 divided by lambda okay right which is equal to 13.6 into 3 by 16 right so lambda is equal to well, 4852 angstroms Okay, when I solve this, I take this lambda out, I multiply with this, and I get. So angstroms I'm writing further into nanometers, four thousand eight five two into. Okay, angstroms. Uh, yeah, this one if I am writing, uh, four eighty five, isn't it? Four eighty five because one decimal goes into. Okay, this is only nanometers. I'm sorry for the confusion. Four thousand eight five two. So one angstrom, ten is proof minus nine. So I'm shifting. So, right. This is your answer. Now let's come back and do one more numerical Bahadur chemistry. So here, what do they give me? How much energy is required to ionize a hydrogen atom if the electron occupies n is equal to five orbital? So how much energy? I need to find energy. So compare your answer with the ionization energy of hydrogen atom. So energy required to remove the electron from n is equal to one orbit. So here, uh, how much energy they said? Okay, let us uh, write. So what is one electron volt is equal to minus thirteen point six? Let us write that. E one is equal to minus thirteen point six, which we have already found the energy. So they have asked me for what? N is equal to five. So E five is equal to according to the formula we have written, E n is equal to E by n square. This is <coughs> sorry. <coughs> so for this. Thirteen point six by five square because n is equal to five. They said. I hear when I solve, I get an answer of minus zero point five four four electron volts. So what is the charge of an electron? It is nothing but into one point six zero two two into ten raised to the power minus nineteen joules. When I multiply, I get an answer of eight point seven one into ten raised to the power minus twenty joules. <coughs> that means 0.544 electron volt energy is required to remove or required to ionize hydrogen atom they ask uh, they required how much is this this is it fine so uh, 0.544 electron volt energy so much energy is required to ionize hydrogen atom and if the electron is in the fifth orbit if it is in the fifth orbit in uh, this one i require so much amount of energy to ionize it so what do they ask me Compare your answer with the ionization energy of hydrogen atom. They said, right. So let us come back and solve this. So what should I calculate? I need to calculate what is the energy associated with the fifth orbit, isn't it? Right. So now, what is the energy of the first orbit? E one is equal to minus. How much did they give me? Hydrogen atom minus two point one seven into ten to the power of minus eighteen joule per atom. 
okay this is what they've given me so what should i find associated fifth orbit find uh, that is equal to e5 e5 minus e1 by phi square now, uh, if i uh, this one isn't it so what do i get i what is even minus 2.17 10 is per of minus 18 phi square is nothing but 25 so when i solve this i get an answer of minus 8.68 into 10 raised per of 20 joules okay e5 of okay, e5 is equal to fine so i'm sorry this is the thing this is the formula because we have en is equal to e by n square formula isn't it so this is the fifth energy they've asked me so i've done this let's come back into the 19th numerical right what do you give me calculate the radius of Bohr's fifth orbit of hydrogen atom simplest numerical so according to calculating the radius of Bohr's fifth orbit we have again a formula we have list of formulas which i'll be showing you in one of the videos all the formulas at the end of the chapter right. <clears throat> what is the formula that is rn is equal to r1 into n square this is the formula which we have so what is rn nothing much radius of this one is nothing but 0 0.529 into what is n here they said for radius of both fifth orbit so it is fifth phi square so r direct formula rn is equal to 13.225 angstroms so convert this into nanometers how much is this okay, i'm shifting the decimal 1.325 3225 nanometers this is the sum yes fine so let's come back and do the 20th numerical so 10 20th numerical let's read what do they give me calculate the wave number of the longest wave length transition bomber series of atomic uh, hydrogen okay so the i need to calculate what i calculate the wave number fine so which series balmer series so for balmer series what is n is equal to so in balmer series n n1 is equal to 2 right fine because lyman series n1 is equal to 1 for balmer n1 is equal to 2 so i need to calculate the wave number for the longest wavelength transition in the balmer series so now uh, if this particular line it possesses uh, the longest wavelength they say if it is longest wavelength that means it is the lowest energy correct then n is equal to 3 isn't it yes so what am i trying to explain if this line possess longest inner wavelength if it possess longest wavelength so what do we have we have lowest energy what do we have then what do we have n is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 so according to the, we have a formula isn't it nu bar is equal to 1 by lambda what is it equal to it is equal to 109677 by 1 by this is in balma series this is the low they asked me longest wavelength isn't it so n is equal to 2 whichever is longest wavelength that is the lowest energy level that is 2 square minus 1 by 3 square which will come to 1.523 into 10 raised per of 4 if i take the lcm centimeter inwards which comes equal to 5.23 into 10 raised to 6 meter inwards this is your new bar because it is inverse of lambda so this is the thing so this is a 20th question students so let me come back and meet uh, meet uh, you all with the next uh, set of questions so as i said these will be useful for your all the competitive exams related to structure of atoms do practice this all are covered in this concept so thank you for watching i'll be doing such numericals almost 60 numericals for you all